What is going on, boys and girls of YouTube? We got another ADC game, except we're going at it about a, a different way, okay? If you guys missed the video the other day, it was below the ADC showing you guys who are warrior and assassin mains, a way to play ADC when you get stuck in it, and I actually have a pretty good time doing it. Today, I realize how many of you all get stuck in roles, ADC, a very big one, where you aren't really sure what to play, how to play it, when to play it, and I wanted to do a video that kind of just showed you how to play smart and safe. Because when you play a role that you aren't comfortable in, or you don't know who you really should be playing, when you don't know the exact build, you have to look it up on Smite Source. You need to just play to play smart and clean and not die. And that's what the goal of today's video is. So I hope you guys like the idea and you learn something from it or, you know, you just enjoy the content. Please hit the like button if you do. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And let's get into this. So for today's video in the safe factor, I picked Hachi. Hachi is one of those gods that's always been, you know, fairly even, a really good god, but fairly even and more on the safe side than anything. Can be aggressive when he needs to be, but it's got to present itself. You can't force it where a lot of other gods, you know, on her, Hoji, those gods kind of force the aggression. And the only safer ADC I can think of is Jingwei. Jingwei is the only ADC that plays even safer than Hachi or can be even safer. That's because the ultimate has a super long range where you're CC immune and you're faster than everybody. So it's easy to get out. Plus you have a good range dash that has CC mixed into it. It's just an overall fairly safe, fairly clean hunter to play. And it's obviously safest once you level five and have your ult up. So we're going to go into Crusher as our first item. We're going three health potions, one multi-potion. Really, the multi-potion is only there to double up healing whenever we get into a little skirmish, a little 1v1 or 2v2. So we have health and multi-ticking at the same time. Outside of that, I mean, you really don't have mana issues. You shouldn't be going oom when playing Hachi. I mean, the passive is giving you a ridiculous amount of MP5. And the uh, death toll is going to be healing you a lot. So just, just realize you don't need as much. Like, I see people buying mana pots and stuff. Don't do that. First thing you need to learn, your goal is HP, stay, keep your HP high and staying alive. You need to farm. ADCs win the game by hitting late game as soon as possible. You hit late game as soon as possible, not by killing the enemy ADC, not by taking their tower really quickly. You get it by farming, and you farm off of neutral camps. Attack. Hello, what are you doing? No. All right. Hello. I'm confused. I am a little confused already. Oh, we should be good. He has hog. All right, here we go. So we got this. So yeah, as I was saying, it's mainly about farm. So you want to try to control the lane. He does have a belt of frenzy. So we should be able to out clear here. It is a Sylvanas though. So the clear is going to be pretty close. Oh, he didn't take his frenzy. He didn't use his frenzy. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, he's just AOEing us down. You can't land on auto, so that's good. We have the double potions ticking like we were talking about in case we get to a skirmish. He should have taken his three. If he had taken his three, it would have been a lot easier to clear the full wave and commit. And we're just going to keep get, getting poked here because of their comp. They just went for a really heavy pressure comp, which is fine. Then playing on the tower here just shows how stupid they are and they don't actually know the role because they should not. They should just go neutral farm. There's so many camps up. So them doing this is just wasting time. If they do that earlier, they can get the neutral farm up more often and they have a lot more control. I don't, if you're a Cabracken, start your three on the way for the wave. You just full clear the wave for free. And you also do a lot of damage. It was very weird and not smart of him to uh, do what he did. We're just doing damage. Don't want to take too much poke here. I stepped up the body block a little bit as soon as the AOE autos were gone or the pass through autos were gone. We shouldn't really be able to kill them here. It's just not likely. My dude not having his three is really weird for a Cabracken gamer. <laughs> like, like he literally cannot clear because he's not going his three. Feels bad jungler dead or soul laner dead. Jungler dead? What the hell? That wasn't even close. Yikes. If Thor has been, had been paying attention, he could have had free kills over here the whole time because they don't have wards out. They're just kind of chilling here playing super, super hyper, super hyper. They're playing hyper aggressive. Super far up when they shouldn't be. Smart of him to come to the purple. We're going to quick dash this and try to clear this as fast as possible. We're going to pass safe. Remember we talked about all this lane is, is playing safe and being smart. Not dying here is overall the goal. That, that would have been a cool pull. I'm not going to lie. That would have been a cool pull. 
Oh, he's got his three finally. Woo! Imagine if he had that earlier and we had lane control. So on Hachi, you don't need to level your one. Your one's not, the bonus damage on your one in the range is completely irrelevant until you hit later in the game. You want to have the three leveled up because if you're using it to do damage, to full commit, it needs to do enough damage. And then the two is for clear. Yeah, we like not having a support that does that. He just doesn't clear the wave. This is really rough. Don't play Kabrak in support if you're not going to level your three so you can clear. All right, we'll go see if the neutral farms up. There's a chance it's respawned. Has not. Let me check there. Oh, it is up. It is up. Nice. Like I knew it was coming up soon. So we're in farm mode. Keep them from getting as much farm as possible, and we just want to find as much farm as possible. The thing is, Scream doesn't know how to the the Savannah doesn't really know how to play support, so there's a good chance he just sits in this lane the whole time. It never rotates. And Michael Rack and Smart, he, he's not. His one makes him root immune. I'll probably have to tell him that. Thor could literally get free kills all day. Enemy missing. Enemy missing. Be careful. The obelisks are active. Attack left lane. Lane. We don't want to get hit by Silvolt. We're going to keep max range here. There we go. He's going to die for sure. We're just pressuring out here. There's his beads. It's beautiful. So now he can Thor ult over here whenever it's up. And they get a free kill. All the Rama beads. Why is he taking another wave? What's he doing? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I'm so confused what just happened. Your right tower. I get playing for the purple. I don't know why he made it so obvious and just kind of stood there, but that is what it is. We're going to do purple first here. We want to back when we have Crusher. We want to wait as long as possible. The Crusher is going to up our clear potential and our poke potential immensely because we're just going to be tossing the two out whenever possible. Hopefully the fact that he knows his two makes him root immune now, makes him play a little more aggro and a little, a little farther up. He also can fully bop this Rama. Like a bracken can. He needs to leave and go rotate. Bye. Bye. Last hitting as much. Oh, another thing that I didn't even mention. Last hitting gets you more gold. So whenever you can last hit, you want to last it. Eventually, you start clearing with your ability, full clearing with your ability. So you don't even think about it. But ideally, last it whenever possible because you want to get as much gold as possible. You want to get late game. Sounds dumb. Oh, I get four more gold for last hit, but it's actually kind of valuable. Like... See, getting 27 gold, I'll let this one die versus 18. Okay. Getting nine extra gold for last hitting is a big deal. It's a really, really big deal. So take advantage of it. This has a lot more health than I remember. Your oh, tower, All right. One? He's backing because he has Crusher. Is he going Crusher? Oh, no, he's going Ikaval. So he is Ikaval online. So his 1v1 pure trades will be a little bit in his favor if we're just talking about a lot of autos. But if we're just going full abilities and we're full comboing him down really quickly for eating autos, it'll be in our favor because we have the Crusher. So that's going to be the goal. If I take a fight, it will be just I'll try to two him, land an auto off of it. If he misses the auto and I can get a three in, I'll three him and I'll go for damage. Otherwise, we're just going to farm and rotate around. Retreat middle lane. Retreat middle lane. Dodgy coming, boys. Getting farmed by Dodgy. Your middle tower. My teammates have really been struggling. This guy's 0-3. Goodness gracious. What in the world? Nice. Three in a row. That makes the killing spree. We just want to poke at him. Got we do not want him to poke at us at all. If our abilities come back up, I'm going to ult him. Alright, he's rolling back. That's fine. So his dash is down, which means we can be aggressive on him. And if our two is going to come back up, we'll be able to poke him again. I'm building stack. Sorry. No right then. Getting really good poke off on this guy. Ooh, we got range. Our purple's up, so we want to play for that. I'm going to go for the next wave, and then we'll go for the purple. He has purple advantage on us right now. Is it Tsukiyomi mid? I think I have a Tsukiyomi mid. I think that's what it is. All right, he's rolling back for these now, which is great for us. Oh, okay. Well, we're screwed. Feels bad. 
I assumed the jungler would be around his speed buff, but I think the timers might be a little off. I think my jungler did his speed really late. So that sucks. I just wanted to fight. Our purple is probably going to get invaded. Our Thor backed right then, which stinks. And our who is our mid? Oh, oh it knocks solo Sukiyomi mid. Okay, yeah, this is this is rough, boys. This is rough. My Kabrakan walled himself off. Thor's looking for the engage, which is semi good, potentially. If Dodgy shows up, they're all dead, though. My ult's up, so I could get into a good fight. Oh, this dude's taking the, the Jimmy. Where is this guy? What the heck? Did he back right there? He might have stepped to the side and back, but I think he... He's probably running through the jungle. I need to get some wards up. Sucks I wasted my ult right there. I really wanted to kill the Sylvanas for free. Would have been a nice extra farm. We're just going to keep keeping the poke up on this guy and playing slow as possible. What does he have now? So he's going for the Ikaval, or not the Ikaval, the uh, Aussie, more than likely. We don't win the trades here, but we know Thor's are behind us, right? So we just play off of this. Go the ward. Nice shove. We just played that super slow and smart. It's the whole goal. And we want to go get our wards up now that we can. Okay. Dodgy is everywhere. Luckily, he she died, but she is everywhere. All right, so we're going to get our wards out. Or a ward out. And I think his purple's up very, very soon. And we pretty much closed the gap instantly on the lead he had. We just want to get some last hits over all the goal. Aussie's going to help a lot with that trade where he's going for the Ikaval pure trades and we're just going to be able to sustain him. And getting all the neutral farm. This should be up. Yep. Your right tower is under Power clear this as fast as possible and we'll go over for the more, more neutral farm. And our ult's back up. We didn't even need it. If we had it up, we would have been able to solo that Rama, which is the funny part. We have good vision here and left as well. Someone counter warded? I don't think I counter warded. Brain's a little mush. I was sick yesterday. So I'm still kind of getting over it today. Easy combos, boys. Like I said, if you ever get a, a alt combo off with the Crusher, it's kind of just Jeej. So we're playing for the Aussie. I'm going to go look at his purple buff. I might get killed here. If the jungler's smart, she'll be over here. Oh, there's Sylvanas. Oh, the dude babysits. He never leaves the lane. Just keep the wide angle there so he can't pull us. Still think the dodgy's coming over here? Oh, yep. <laughs> I wanted the power clear. I'm pretty sure she was coming, dude. I don't know how she's avoiding all the wards, though. I don't know where she walked around to literally not eat a ward. That sucks, is what it is. We'll just 1v1 the Rama again if we have to. And play from there. Would have been nice to hit 12 and get an Aegis, though. Four up. See what he's got. That dodgy's dead. Go on somebody else. Go on somebody else. Go on somebody else. Okay. Semi-respectable. We can kill this Sylvanas. And we have our awesome... Oh, they're getting Marama kills. No. They're just getting shredded. They're getting shredded. Once the Sugiyomi ulted and Thor misses ult, they probably should have disengaged. I really want to know where the dodgy passed to avoid every ward. Super strange. Not the end of the world. Our purple's up. We'll go get that. Hit level 12. If I had Aegis though, Rama didn't have his ult, or we could ult Aegis the Rama ult, basically not allowing him to ult, be kind of amazing for the fighting over here. One thing is, <laughs> we talked about being safe. If you're using your ult to get kills, then it's not up to run away from a dodgy. So just remember that. I don't mind going for the trade kills at all. And we're good to just tank these. Need to get wards out again, because Dodgy's going to be right back here again. Pretty soon we'll get to the point where we can just auto-trade them, though. Which will be nice. More neutral farm. Still have a fat lead on this Rama. Absolutely gigantic lead on this Rama. I'm going to back here. I want to get wards, mainly the reason. And I want to get my Aegis. I'm going to get a counter ward and a regular ward. Try to find this Rama's vision and then uh, make sure the jungler doesn't get to me again. Oh, this isn't good. The ADC might have rotated over there. Nope. Never mind. <laughs> Psych. I lied. They are getting the Jimmy stacks though right now. 
Not gonna use my dash here because if he plays up thinking I rotated, I won't be able to kill him. No, oh, he's not here. He did not think that. And we're gonna be leveling our one here pretty soon because we're not gonna have a choice. Colin missing. He's more than likely rotating. There's nothing else to do. We're gonna kill the Sylvanas plants now that he's not sitting in lane. He's gonna miss a full wave. So if he does rotate, yeah. He misses the full wave. If he doesn't get any kills, it's really good for us. Looks like he's about to come. Oh, they're coming at me. Your team has destroyed a left enemy tower. Yeah, these kids are weird. You should not play like this. They're just W King for no reason. I mean, I still have my ult, my beads, my Aegis. They're literally wasting their time. Someone is probably his blink now. He does not. All right, cool. <laughs> Rama missed a full two full waves and then just randomly uh, ran at me. I don't know what's going on. Sylvanas babysitting a little bit. So this guy's getting a little bit of confidence because of the babysitting. Yep, still babysitting as expected. And we're just healing right now. Notice I'm not using an ability. It's because I'm healing. I want to get the full health right away. Dodgy's here too. Goodness gracious. Squad nut for the speed, I guess. We are about to... We get Kins too right now. It should be pretty valuable. Get the wards from this guy. Fight in mid wouldn't be bad right now. Be careful, mm. We don't have our Sukiyomi. I'm going to look for their ADC. He's pathing around to his purple. Surprising. What? Okay, I just got scammed. I actually just got scammed because it should have should have hit Chunga. I don't know what just happened. The wall was not blocking anything. She was standing in front of me. That was very weird. It's all good. Got two nice little kills there, but that was weird. I'm pretty sure I got scammed. I'm gonna say I got scammed there, and then uh, we'll pretend whatever you know happened didn't happen at the same time. That was weird. I was like max range of my ult too. All right, boys. I don't think the Rama is going to play. Oh, yep. Here comes the Sylvanas again. Dudes are obsessed. Neutral farm's not up yet. It's about to be, though. So he's probably going to play for this. Yep, got his beads. ADC beads. Always call that out, mainly just so you're anyone with defense or with stuns with defense. Anyone with stuns can come over and kind of pressure them out. Or if a team fight breaks out right away, then they know, hey, that's an easy kill target. Thor can cut one combo the, the Ramana, which is nice. But anytime you get a stun like that, you hit that three stun, it's over. The person has to freak out, overreact, and run away. And my ult wasn't even up. My ult's up there, I can chase, and she's dead. Or he's dead. He's afraid to walk up to the wave now, too. Because he doesn't know where I am. They don't have good wards out. I want to clear one more wave and rotate. It looks like my Thor might be in trouble. Oops, saw my two was up already. Grabbing the neutral farm along the way. We're over that 15 minute mark. So invade gold is going to be full gold. 33 gold for that. Enemy spotted. Be careful. That's fine. We don't care about eating that. If he hits that, nice. Huge. He's so tanky. We don't have our kins yet. Trying to move out of the way so they can get around there. Hey, we don't care about that. Enemy spotted. Nice job, dude. Huge. What do they have? A cleaner? Oh, he gave them the free secure. That was dumb. I'm a little worried about the cleaner. If we group up, we should be fine. This is risky. I'm trying to disengage. Good show. Strategically. Now 
I time. think the dot or dodgy the Kalina was just raging at the chunga. We need the anti yo. We have wait. I can't really go anti yo. Uh, we have a ton of gold. I didn't even realize that. Holy crap. I can't as a hunter, as an ADC, you never go anti yo. When you're playing a true hunter, do not ever go anti yo. I have that question a lot. If you ask any pro ADC or really anyone who knows what they're doing, that's the one role that's not going to build anti heal unless it's part of your build already. So ability hunters, you know, your your Ool or your um, AMC if you build it like that, or your Scotty could could fit it in the build easy. You fit up brawlers in the build super free. But all your traditional hunters are not going to do that. You do not want to waste an item slot for anti heal. It's a terrible item because you're gonna go toxic blade 99% of the time. A toxic blade is a terrible, terrible item. I don't know what this guy's doing. No Just get the stun combo off and it's over. Hachi's kind of cracked. I haven't played this guy in a long time. It's ridiculous. I can go do gold. If we don't get picked, I can go do gold, but I think my Thor might get picked. He's in a bad position. I can also push to the tier 2 with no ults. Since he's picked, I'm going to push. The next wave, if my Tsugiyomi dies too, they're going to go for fire. Yeah, they're kind of in thing. Really bad fights. I think they're going to go to fire. Nox to go for a steal. They could get kills. I shouldn't have put my one there. I wasn't paying attention. Whoops. Well, they've Pyro. Pyro's fine. Sucks to lose it, but you get, you get the picks like that. It's going to happen. Ramos coming out of base. Our ult's up in 40, so we're okay there. Our kin's also just shreds. Trying to get the tower. With the wards come racking out for us, it's pretty free. What we're going to do is purple as well. I'm not going to pick this up. Wait for it. I think they're rotating over here, so we want to be min max with this and just disengage. We don't have actives either. So no all no actives. It's a risky just waiting for a purple we already have on our side of the map. Doesn't make a lot of sense to do that. We can get our temper soon, but we want to get silver branch so we can kill the tankier targets. Savannah's rotating underneath. I'm oh what the hell? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I know Savannah's is around. Oh, it's almost back up, so that's good. It does have so much healing. Okay. Kill him! Kill him! I made him jump into the back spot! Nice! Good job, boys. Good play from the team. If my team can get a nice little CC here from the Kabrakian, they should get another kill. Good job getting his dash. He's got no ult, so he's dead. He's trying to get some farm before he does. Nice job, guys. Great play. They were really focused on me, and since I had no Aegis, my beads luckily came up. Had no Aegis, it was really just not going to be it. I was not getting out of that fight. We won our Silver Branch. If they get Gold Fury, I get Silver Branch here. So let's hope. We have no ADC because I'm dead, and our mid isn't... Dude, attack the gold. He's taking the Jimmy, I respect it, but he needs to go help with his goal. <laughs> this is taking like 10 times longer than it should. Nice job, guys. Good job, gamer. So the left lane is pushed all the way up. Not a lot for us to do over there. I'm probably going to rotate out of base into the jungle, clear that up if no one else does it, and then start rotating around, look for a pick, and then a tower. A pick, and then a tower, a pick, and then a tower. We're almost level 22 as well. We get our temper online. It'll be nice. BGG. Hopefully Karaka doesn't insta clear this. He's huge. He's level 17 as support. Dude's a dude is slapping. He's a slapper. What are you doing? Group up. Group up. He didn't pick up his speed on Thor. That's weird. Sylvanas is pretty squishy. Considering he's just really far behind, so he's pretty squishy. A, vision, a lot of vision control. He's looking to dash on me, so I'm running in a straight line to get distance. And he's just dead. That's what you get for just being a W keyer. You can't run like that. You can't just walk at people like that for that long. We want to do fire, especially if Rama's still pushing that left tower. Because you see the waves pushed up, which means he pushed, the, pushed it up that far. He might stay. We do have a knock, so our clear or secure is shit. Ooh, Sugiomi, it didn't go for fire. He didn't listen. All good. Hopefully, we can secure this. Nice job. 
Side. So Yomi just needs to listen to calls. Bad play for him to be running through the left side of the map for no reason. Especially if they had contested us, that would have been terrible. I'm gonna back and try to go over to that, that left lane. We're gonna upgrade our beads here too. Yes, it pushes back an item, but if we get into a CC fast fight here, instead of defending fire, classic. Uh, I mean, <laughs> they weren't gonna contest fire because they were down a man. You just have to run over there like an idiot. So they got tier two, they got a little bit of gold. The Rama played it correctly. We're gonna push out one more wave and then go mid. Our Tsukiyomi will be up by then and we'll be in the good spots. Whatever. He just needs to not get picked in, right? Red buff is actually really good. If you if you think about the stats and everything, you get off some of the buffs and smite. Taking them away, especially consistently, makes team fights and stuff impossible to win. Oh, chunk of immunity? He just got a fat ult though. Your right tower has been destroyed. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy tower. We'll get all the towers now. Should just go right. Oh, actually, Dodgy's dead. We can go mid. Tsukiyomi's here now. We should definitely go for this. Well, we were trying to focus on that Phoenix. We got it, luckily. He's tanky. Just trying to auto and kill everyone alive. Damn, dude, we're probably dead here. Mm, nice try. Unfortunately, we got the Phoenix, so it's not the end of the world. We didn't get wiped without getting it, but we are going to get wiped. They could probably push down the mid Phoenix. They might be able to win here, actually. I haven't seen him hit a combo yet. No I've seen Nox throw his twos for peel, which is great, but he hasn't hit a combo yet. I don't think he has the anti heal either. Oh, he does. Nice. He picked it up a little late. Live, Nox, live. Him living is massive. Too close for massive. It's a good job. Really wish he had a combo, but I'll take his survival, I guess. Your middle tower has been destroyed. Alrighty. So we get up. We traded phoenixes and we're gonna go right back to a normal fight of fire and everything. So I am glad I upgraded the beads. Oh, combo there. He had a combo. Nice. That's a fight. Yeah, buddy. Big ult. Oh, he could hit a five man ult. If he had ulted a little farther up and started spinning right away, that would have been cracked. I'm up though, so we're gonna run out of base. We're gonna dash and then ult to whoever we can get to. Oh, we can just end. That's game. That should be the game. Everyone coming out of base. We have fire creeps. Luckily, we traded equal phoenixes, so it's not like they're going to be able to side push. We have 30 seconds to get to the Titan. Since my Thor's chasing, maybe we can get this. We might just need to go left. Oh, he killed them. Never mind. We should be able to end easy now. He can get to this fight. And he'll be pushing left. In the worst case here, if we can't get to the Titan in time, he, we just go to left and the Thor's already over there, which is nice. We have no beads. We do have our immunity. I don't think Sylvanas ult will be up, even though he's sitting on a lot of CC or a lot of CDR. All right, he's defending left, and we are ending the game. <laughs> All right. DVGG. I didn't even have that great of a game. I mean, I went four, four, and seven. I was winning the one v ones, but in terms of team fights and everything, I didn't even do that much. We hit for late game way earlier than them. We had a bad early game because our Kabraki went with the wrong ability. And I'm getting a win anyway. A pretty, like, simple win as well. There was nothing crazy about it. It was all very basic play. The other team had insane healing, which was hard to play around for that mid-game fight we lost. And honestly, even in that last Phoenix, the healing is why they were staying alive. Look at this. Eh, I guess they didn't do that much healing. Well, we can't see the cleanest self-healing either. So their healing was decent. The fact that the Savannas almost out-healed the Chunga is really, really bad. <laughs> Really bad. So we did 25k damage. We did more than the chunk out damage us. He's the only one. The out damage us by 100. Their ADC did 13,000. So there's your Hachi. There's your like semi safe play. I got ended up playing a very like maybe more aggressive than before just because I got a lead and I was able to play around it. But you saw in the early game, I mean, I was just chilling. They, they were pushing us under the tower. We were hanging back. 
Um, biggest thing I'd recommend is I wasn't consistently worried about their dodgy. Didn't matter in the long run. Even if you get ganked, you just run back to lane and go back to farming. So that kind of shows how you can play around farm, play around those last hits we talked about, and you'll be good to go. You won't have any issues. Hope you guys like the video. Hit the subscribe button. If you do, make sure you're liking the videos too. That means a lot. It goes a long way. And I will see you on the video later tomorrow, the next day, the next day, and the next day.